morality, virtue, moralize, to render virtuous, moratorium, an emergency legislation authorizing a government to suspend some action temporarily, morbid, caused by or denoting a diseased or unsound condition of body or mind, mordacious, biting or given to biting, mordant, biting, moribund, on the point of dying, morose, gloomy, morphology, the science of organic forms, motley, composed of heterogeneous or inharmonious elements, motto, an expressive word or pithy sentence enunciating some guiding rule of life or faith, mountaineer, one who travels among or climbs mountains for pleasure or exercise. Mountainous, full of or abounding in mountains. Mouthful, as much as can be or is usually put into the act or exercise. Muddle, to confuse or becloud, especially with or as with drink. Muffle, to deaden the sound of, as by raps. Mulatto, the offspring of a white person and a black person. Muleteer, a mule driver. Multiform, having many shapes or appearances. Multiplicity, the condition of being manifold or very various. Mundane, worldly, as opposed to spiritual or celestial. Municipal, of or pertaining to a town or city or to its corporate or local government. Municipality, a district enjoying municipal government. Munificence, a giving characterized by generous motives and extraordinary liberality. Munificent, extraordinarily generous. Muster, an assemblage or review of troops for parade or inspection or for numbering off. Mutation, the act or process of change. Mutilate, to disfigure. Mutiny, rebellion against lawful or constituted authority. Myriad, a vast indefinite number. Mystic, one who professes direct divine illumination or relies upon meditation to acquire truth. Mystification, the act of artfully perplexing. Myth, a fictitious narrative presented as historical but without any basis of fact. Mythology, the whole body of legends cherished by a race concerning gods and heroes. Nameless, having no fame or reputation. Naphtha, a light, colorless, volatile, inflammable oil used as a solvent, as in the manufacture of paints. Paints. Narcissus, the son of the Athenian river god Cephisus, fabled to have fallen in love with his reflection. Narrate, to tell a story. Narration, the act of recounting the particulars of an event in the order of time or occurrence. Narrative, an orderly, continuous account of the successive particulars of an event. Narrator, one who narrates anything. Narrow-minded, characterized by illiberal views or sentiments. Nasal, pertaining to the nose. Natal, pertaining to one's birth. Nationality, a connection with a particular nation. Naturally, according to the usual order of things. Nausea, an affection of the stomach producing dizziness and usually an impulse to vomit. Nauseate, to cause to loathe. Nauseous, loathsome. Nautical, pertaining to ships, seamen, or navigation. Naval, pertaining to ships. Naval, the depression on the abdomen where the umbilical cord of the fetus was attached. Navigable, capable of commercial navigation. Navigate, to traverse by ship. Nebula, a gaseous body of unorganized stellar substance. Necessary, indispensably requisite or absolutely needed to accomplish a desired result. Necessitate, to render indispensable. Necessity, 
that which is indispensably requisite to an end desired. Necrology, a list of persons who have died in a certain place or time. Necromancer, one who practices the art of foretelling the future by means of communication with the dead. Necropolis, a city of the dead. Necrosis, the death of a part of the body. Nectar, any especially sweet and delicious drink. Nectarine, a variety of the peach. Needlework, embroidery. Needy, being in need, want, or poverty. Nefarious, wicked in the extreme. Negate, to deny. Negation, the act of denying or of asserting the falsity of a proposition. Neglectful, exhibiting or indicating omission. Negligé, a loose gown worn by women. Negligence, omission of that which ought to be done. Negligent, apt to omit what ought to be done. Negligible, transferable by assignment, endorsement, or delivery. Or negotiable, to bargain with others for an agreement as for a treaty or transfer of property. Nemesis, a goddess, divinity of chastisement and vengeance. Neocracy, government administered by new or untried persons. Neo-Darwinism, Darwinism as modified and extended by more recent students. Neo-Latin, modernized Latin. Neo-Paganism, a new or revived paganism. Neolithic, pertaining to the later Stone Age. Neology, the coining or using of new words or new meanings of words. Neophyte, having the character of a beginner. Nestle, to adjust cozily in snug quarters. Nestling, recently hatched. Nettle, to excite sensations of uneasiness or displeasure in. Network, anything that presents a system of cross lines. Neural, pertaining to the nerves or nervous system. Neurology, the science of the nervous system. Neuter, neither masculine nor feminine. Neutral, belonging to or under control of neither of two contestants. Nevertheless, notwithstanding. Newtonian, of or pertaining to Sir Isaac Newton, the English philosopher. Niggardly, stingy, this word no longer acceptable to use. Nihilist, an advocate of the doctrine that nothing either exists or can be known. Nil, nothing. Nimble, light and quick in motion or action. Knit, the egg of a louse or some other insect. Nocturnal, of or pertaining to the night. Noiseless, silent. Noisome, very offensive, particularly to the sense of smell. Noisy, clamorous. Nomad, having no fixed abode. Nomic, usually or customary. Nominal, trivial. Nominate, to designate as a candidate for any office. Nomination, the act or ceremony of naming a man or woman for office. Nominee, one who receives a nomination. Non-existent, that which does not exist. Non-resident, not residing within a given jurisdiction. Nonchalance, a state of mind indicating lack of interest. Non-combatant, one attached to the army or navy, but having duties other than that of fighting. Nondescript, indescribable. Nonentity, a person or thing of little or no account. Nonpareil, one who or that which is of unequaled excellence. Norm, a model. Normalcy, the state of being normal. Norman, of or peculiar to Normandy in northern France. Nostrum, 
any scheme or recipe of a charlatan character. Noticeable, perceptible. Notorious, unfavorably known to the general public. Novelette, a short novel. Novice, a beginner in any business or occupation. Nowadays, in the present time or age. Nowhere, in no place or state. Noxious, hurtful. Nuance, a slight degree of difference in anything perceptible to the sense of the mind. Nucleus, a central point or part about which matter is aggregated. Nude, naked. Nugatory, having no power or force. Nuisance, that which annoys, vexes, or irritates. Numeration, the act or art of reading or naming numbers. Numerical, of or pertaining to numbers. Nunnery, a convent for nuns. Nuptial, of or pertaining to marriage, especially to the marriage ceremony. Nurture, the process of fostering or promoting growth. Nutriment, that which nourishes. Nutritive, having nutritious properties. Oaken, made of or from oak. Oakum, hemp fiber obtained by untwisting and picking out loosely the yarns of old hemp rope. Obdurate, impassive to feelings of humanity or pity. Obelisk, a square shaft with pyramidal top, usually monumental or commemorative. Obese, exceedingly fat. Obesity, excessive fatness. Obituary, a published notice of a death. Objective, grasping and representing facts as they are. Objector, one who objects as to a proposition, measure, or ruling. Obligate, to hold to the fulfillment of duty. Obligatory, binding in law or conscience. Oblique, slanting, set of lines. Obliterate, to cause to disappear. Oblivion, the state of having passed out of the memory or of being utterly forgotten. Oblong, longer than broad, applied most commonly to rectangular objects considerably elongated. Obnoxious, detestable. Obsequies, funeral rites. Obsequious, showing a servile readiness to fall in with the wishes or will of another. Observance, a traditional form or customary act. Observant, quick to notice. Observatory, a building designed for systematic astronomical observations. Obsolescence, the condition or process of gradually falling into disuse. Obsolescent, passing out of use as a word. Obsolete, no longer practiced or accepted. Obstetrician, a practitioner of midwifery. Obstetrics, the branch of medical science concerned with the treatment and caring of women during pregnancy. Obstinacy, stubborn adherence to opinion arising from conceit or the desire to have one's way. Obstreperous, boisterous. Obstruct, to fill with impediments so as to prevent passage, either wholly or in part. Obstruction, hindrance. Obtrude, to be pushed or to push oneself into undue prominence. Obtrusive, tending to be pushed or to push oneself into undue prominence. Obvert, to turn the front or principal side of a thing toward any person or object. Obviate, to clear away or provide for as an objection or difficulty. Occasion, an important event or celebration. Occident, the countries lying west of Asia and the Turkish dominions. Occlude, to absorb as a gas by a metal. Occult, existing but not immediately perceptible. Occupant, a tenant in possession of property as distinguished from the actual owner. Occurrence, a happening. Octagon, 
a figure with eight sides and eight angles. Octave. A note at this interval above or below any other considered in relation to that other. Octavo. A book or collection of paper in which the sheets are so folded as to make eight leaves. Octogenarian. A person of between eighty and ninety years. Ocular. Of or pertaining to the eye. Oculist. One versed or skilled in treating diseases of the eye. Oddity. An eccentricity. Ode. The form of lyric poetry anciently intended to be sung. Odious. Hateful. Odium. A feeling of extreme repugnance or of dislike and disgust. Odoriferous. Having or diffusing an odor or scent, especially an agreeable one. Odorous. Having an odor. Off. Farther or more distant. Offhand. Without preparation. Officiate. To act as an officer or leader. Officious. Intermeddling with what is not one's concern. Offshoot. Something that branches off from the parent stock. Ogre. A demon or monster that was supposed to devour human beings. Ointment. A fatty preparation with a butter-like consistency in which a medicinal substance exists. Olfactory. Of or pertaining to the sense of smell. Olive branch. A branch of the olive tree as an emblem of peace. Ominous. Portentous. Omission. Exclusion. Omnipotence. Unlimited and universal power. Omnipotent. Possessed of unlimited and universal power. Omniscience. Unlimited or infinite knowledge. Omniscient. Characterized by unlimited or infinite knowledge. Omnivorous. Eating or living upon food of all kinds indiscriminately. Onerous. Burdensome or oppressive. Onrush. Onset. Onset. An assault, especially of troops, upon an enemy or fortification. Onslaught. A violent onset. Onus. A burden or responsibility. Opalescence. The property of combined refraction and reflection of light, resulting in smoky tints. Opaque. Impervious to light. Operate. To put in action and supervise the working of. Operative. Active. Operator. One who works with or controls some machine or scientific apparatus. Operetta. A humorous play and dialogue and music of more than one act. Opinion. A conclusion or judgment held with confidence but falling short of positive knowledge. Opponent. One who supports the opposite side in a debate, discussion, struggle, or sport. Opportune. Especially fit as occurring, said, or done at the right moment. Right. Opportunist. One who takes advantage of circumstances to gain his ends. Opportunity. Favorable or advantageous chance or opening. Opposite. Radically different or contrary in action or movement. Opprobrium. The state of being scornfully reproached or accused of evil. Optic. Pertaining to the eye or vision. Optician. One who makes or deals in optical instruments or eyeglasses. Optics. The science that treats of light and vision and all that is connected with sight. Optimism. The view that everything in nature and the history of mankind is ordered for the best. Option. The right power or liberty of choosing. Optometry. Measurement of the powers of vision. Opulence. Affluence. Opulent. Wealthy. Oral. Uttered through the mouth. Orate. To deliver an elaborate or formal public speech. Oration. An elaborate or formal public speech. Orator. One who delivers an elaborate or formal speech. Oratorio.
a composition for solo voices, chorus, and orchestra, generally taken from the scriptures. Oratory, the art of public speaking. Ordeal, anything that severely tests courage, strength, patience, conscience, etc. Ordinal, that form of the numeral that shows the order of anything in a series, as first, second, third. Ordination, a consecration to the ministry. Ordnance, a general name for all kinds of weapons and their appliances used in war. Orgies, wild or wanton revelry. Origin, the beginning of that which becomes or is made to be. Original, not copied nor produced by imitation. Originate, to cause or constitute the beginning or first stage of the existence of. Ornate, ornamented to a marked degree. Orthodox, holding the commonly accepted faith. Orthodoxy, acceptance of the common faith. Orthogonal, having or determined by right angles. Orthopedic, relating to the correcting or preventing of deformity. Orthopedist, one who practices the correcting or preventing of deformity. Oscillate, to swing back and forth. Osculate, to kiss, ossify, to convert into bone, ostentation, a display dictated by vanity and intended to invite applause or flattery. Flattery, ostracism, exclusion from intercourse or favor as in society or politics. Ostracize, to exclude from public or private favor. Ought, to be under moral obligation to be or do. Oust, to eject. Out and out, genuinely. Outbreak, a sudden and violent breaking forth as of something that has been pent up or restrained. Outburst, a violent issue, especially of passion in an individual. Outcast, one rejected and despised, especially socially. Outcry, a vehement or loud cry or clamor. Outdo, to surpass. Outlandish, of barbarous, uncouth, and unfamiliar aspect or action. Outlast, to last longer than. Outlaw, a habitual lawbreaker. Outlive, to continue to exist after. Out of the way, remotely situated. Outpost, a detachment of troops stationed at a distance from the main body to guard against surprise. Outrage, a gross infringement of morality or decency. Outrageous, shocking in conduct. Outreach, to reach or go beyond. Outride, to ride faster than. Outrigger, a part built or arranged to project beyond a natural outline for support. Outright, entirely. Outskirt, a border region. Outstretch, to extend. Outstrip, to go beyond. Outweigh, to surpass in importance or excellence. Overdo, to overtax the strength of. Overdose, an excessive dose, usually so large a dose of a medicine that its effect is toxic. Overeat, to eat to excess. Overhang, a portion of a structure which projects or hangs over. Overleap, to leap beyond. Overlord, one who holds supremacy over another. Overpass, to pass across or over as a river. Overpay, to pay or reward in excess. Overpower, to gain supremacy or victory over by superior power. Overproduction, excessive production. Overreach, to stretch out too far. Overrun, to infest or ravage. Oversee, to superintend. Overseer, a supervisor. Overshadow, 
to cast into the shade or render insignificant by comparison. Overstride, to step beyond. Overthrow, to vanquish an established ruler or government. Overtone, a harmonic. Overture, an instrumental prelude to an opera, oratorio, or ballet. Overweight, preponderance. Pacify, to bring into a peaceful state. Packet, a bundle, as of letters. Pact, a covenant. Pagan, a worshipper of false gods. Pageant, a dramatic representation, especially a spectacular one. Palate, the roof of the mouth. Palatial, magnificent. Paleontology, the branch of biology that treats of ancient life and fossil organisms. Palate, a thin tablet with a hole for the thumb, upon which artists lay their colors for painting. Palinode, a retraction. Paul, to make dull by satiety. Palliate, to cause to appear less guilty. Pallid, of a pale or wan appearance. Palpable, perceptible by feeling or touch. Palsy, paralysis. Paley, lacking color or brilliancy. Pamphlet, a brief treatise or essay usually on a subject of current interest. Pamphleteer, to compose or issue pamphlets, especially controversial ones. Panacea, a remedy or medicine proposed for or professing to cure all diseases. Pan-American, including or pertaining to the whole of America, both North and South. Pandemic, affecting a whole people or all classes as a disease. Pandemonium, a fiendish or riotous uproar. Panegyric, a formal and elaborate eulogy written or spoken of a person or of an act. Panel, a rectangular piece set in or as in a frame. Panic, a sudden, unreasonable, overpowering fear. Panoply, a full set of armor. Panorama, a series of large pictures representing a continuous scene. Pantheism, the worship of nature for itself or its beauty. Pantheon, a circular temple at Rome with a fine Corinthian portico and a great domed roof. Pantomime, sign language. Pantoscope, a very wide-angled photographic lens. Lens. Papacy, the official head of the Roman Catholic Church. Papyrus, the writing paper of the ancient Egyptians and later of the Romans. Parable, a brief narrative founded on real scenes or events, usually with a moral. Paradox, a statement or doctrine seemingly in contradiction to the received belief. Paragon, a model of excellence. Parallel, to cause to correspond or lie in the same direction and equidistant in all parts. Parallelism, essential likeness. Paralysis, loss of the power of contractility in the voluntary or involuntary muscles. Paralyze, to deprive of the power to act. Paramount, supreme in authority. Paramour, one who is unlawfully and immorally a lover or a mistress. Paraphernalia, miscellaneous articles of equipment or adornment. Paraphrase, translate freely. Pair, to cut, shave, or remove the outside from anything. Parentage, the relation of parent to child, of the producer to the produced, or of cause to effect. Pariah, a member of a degraded class, a social outcast. Parish, the ecclesiastical district in charge of a pastor. Parisian, of or pertaining to the city of Paris. Parity, equality, as of condition or rank. Parlance, mode of speech. Parley, to converse in. Parliament, a legislative body. Parlor, 
a room for a reception of callers or entertainment of guests. Parody, to render ludicrous by imitating the language of. Paronymous, derived from the same root or primitive word. Paroxysm, a sudden outburst of any kind of activity. Parricide, the murder of a parent. Parse, to describe as a sentence by separating it into its elements and describing each word. Parsimonious, unduly sparing in the use or expenditure of money. Partible, separable. Participant, one having a share or part. Participate, to receive or have a part or share of. Partition, that which separates anything into distinct parts. Partisan, characterized by or exhibiting undue or unreasoning devotion to a party. Passable, capable of feeling of suffering. Passive, unresponsive. Pastoral, having the spirit or sentiment of rural life. Paternal, fatherly. Paternity, fatherhood. Pathos, the quality in any form of representation that rouses emotion or sympathy. Patriarch, the chief of a tribe or race who rules by paternal right. Patrician, of senatorial or noble rank. Patrimony, an inheritance from an ancestor, especially from one's father. Patriotism, love and devotion to one's country. Patronize, to exercise an arrogant condescension toward. Patronymic, formed after one's father's name. Patter, to mumble something over and over. Paucity, fewness. Pauper, one without means of support. Pauperism, dependence on charity. Pavilion, an open structure for temporary shelter. Payee, a person to whom money has been or is to be paid. Peaceable, tranquil. Peaceful, tranquil. Peckable, capable of sinning. Peccadillo, a small breach of propriety or principle. Peccant, guilty. Pectoral, pertaining to the breast or thorax. Pecuniary, consisting of money. Pedagogics, the science and art of teaching. Pedagogue, a schoolmaster. Pedagogy, the science and art of teaching. Pedal, a lever for the foot usually applied only to musical instruments, cycles, and other machines. Pedant, a scholar who makes needless and inopportune display of his learning. Pedal, to go about with a small stock of goods to sell. Pedestal, a base or support as for a column, statue, or vase. Pedestrian, one who journeys on foot. Pediatrics, the department of medical science that relates to the treatment of diseases of childhood. Pedigree, one's line of ancestors. Peddler, one who travels from house to house with an assortment of goods for retail. Peerage, the nobility. Peerless, of unequaled excellence or worth. Peevish, petulant, irritable. Pellucid, translucent. Penalty, the consequences that follow the transgression of natural or divine law. Penance, punishment to which one voluntarily submits or subjects himself as an expression of penitence. Penchant, a bias in favor of something. Pendant, anything that hangs from something else, either for ornament or for use. Pendulous, hanging, especially so as to swing by an attached end or part. Pendulum, a weight hung on a rod, serving by its oscillation to regulate the rate of a clock. Penetrable, that may be pierced by physical, moral, or intellectual force. 
penetrate, to enter or force a way into the interior parts of. Penetration, discernment. Peninsular, pertaining to a piece of land almost surrounded by water. Penitence, sorrow for sin with a desire to amend and to atone. Penitential, pertaining to sorrow for sin with desire to amend and to atone. Pennant, a small flag. Pension, a periodical allowance to an individual on account of past service done by him or her. Pentagram, a figure having five points or lobes. Pentavalent, quinquavalent. Pentad, the number five. Pentagon, a figure especially with five angles and five sides. Pentahedron, a solid bounded by five plain faces. Pentameter, in prosody, a line of verse containing five units or feet. Pentathlon, the contest of five associated exercises in the great games and the same contestants. Penultimate, a syllable or member of a series that is last but one. Penurious, excessively sparing in the use of money. Penury, indigence. Perambulate, to walk about. Perceive, to have knowledge of or receive impressions concerning through the medium of the body senses. Perceptible, cognizable. Perception, knowledge through the senses of the existence and properties of matter or the external world. Percipience, the act of perceiving. Percipient, one who or that which perceives. Percolate, to filter. Percolator, a filter. Percussion, the sharp striking of one body against another. Peremptory, precluding question or appeal. Perennial, continuing through the year or through many years. Perfectible, capable of being made perfect. Perfidy, treachery. Perforate, to make a hole or holes through. Perform, to accomplish. Perfumery, the preparation of perfumes. Perfunctory, half-hearted. Perhaps, possibly. Perigee. The point in the orbit of the moon when it is nearest the earth. Periodicity, the habit or characteristic of recurrence at regular intervals. Peripatetic, walking about. Perjure, to swear falsely to. Perjury, a solemn assertion of a falsity. Permanence, a continuance in the same state or without any change that destroys the essential form or nature. Permanent, durable. Permeate, to pervade. Permissible, that may be allowed. Permutation, reciprocal change, different ordering of same items. Pernicious, tending to kill or hurt. Perpendicular, straight up and down. Perpetrator, the doer of a wrong or a criminal act. Perpetuate, to preserve from extinction or oblivion. Perquisite, any profit from service beyond the amount fixed as salary or wages. Persecution, harsh or malignant oppression. Perseverance, a persistence in purpose and effort. Persevere, to continue striving in spite of discouragements. Persiflage, banter. Persist to continue steadfast against opposition. Persistence, a fixed adherence to a resolve, course of conduct, or the like. Personage, a man or woman as an individual, especially one of rank or high station. Personal, not general or public. Personality, the attributes taken collectively that make up the character and nature of an individual. Personnel, the force of persons collectively employed in some service. Perspective, the relative importance of facts or matters from any special point of view. Perspicacious, astute. 
Perspicacity, acuteness or discernment. Perspicuous, lucid. Perspiration, sweat. Perspire, to excrete through the pores of the skin. Persuade, to win the mind of by argument, eloquence, evidence, or reflection. Persuadable, capable of influencing to action by entreaty, statement, or anything that moves the feelings. Pertinacious, persistent or unyielding. Pertinacity, unyielding adherence. Pertinent, relevant. Perturb, to disturb greatly. Perturbation, mental excitement or confusion. Perusal, the act of reading carefully or thoughtfully. Pervade, to pass or spread through every part. Pervasion, the state of spreading through every part. Pervasive, thoroughly penetrating or permeating. Perverse, unreasonable. Perversion, diversion from the true meaning or proper purpose. Perversity, wickedness. Pervert, one who has forsaken a doctrine regarded as true for one esteemed false. Pervious, admitting the entrance or passage of another substance. Pestilence, a raging epidemic. Pestilent, having a malign influence or effect. Pestilential, having the nature of or breeding pestilence. Peter, to fail or lose power, efficiency, or value. Petrify, to convert into a substance of stony hardness and character. Petulance, the character or condition of being impatient, capricious, or petulant. Petulant, displaying impatience. Pharmacopoeia, a book containing the formulas and methods of preparation of medicines for the use of druggists. Pharmacy, the art or business of compounding and dispensing medicines. Phenomenal, extraordinary or marvelous. Phenomenon, any unusual occurrence. Philander, to play at courtship with a woman. Philanthropic, benevolent. Philanthropist, one who endeavors to help his fellow men. Philanthropy, active humanitarianism. Philately, the study and collection of stamps. Philharmonic, fond of music. Philogenist, one who is fond of women. Philologist, an expert in linguistics. Philology, the study of language in connection with history and literature. Philosophize, to seek ultimate causes and principles. Philosophy, the general principles, laws, or causes that furnish the rational explanation of anything. Phlegmatic, not easily roused to feeling or action. Phonetic, representing articulate sounds or speech. Phonic, pertaining to the nature of sound. Phonogram, a graphic character symbolizing an articulate sound. Phonology, the science of human vocal sounds. Phosphorescence, the property of emitting light. Photoelectric, pertaining to the combined action of light and electricity. Photometer, any instrument for measuring the intensity of light or comparing the intensity of two lights. Photometry, the art of measuring the intensity of light. Physicist, a specialist in the science that treats of the phenomena associated with matter and energy. Physics, the science that treats of the phenomena associated with matter and energy. Physiocracy, the doctrine that land and its products are the only true wealth. Physiognomy, the external appearance merely. Physiography, description of nature. Physiology, the science of organic functions. Physique, the physical structure or organization of a person. Picayune, of small value. Piccolo, a small flute. Piece, a loose or separated part, 
as distinguished from the whole or the mass. Piecemeal, gradually. Pillage, open robbery, as in war. Pillory, a wooden framework in which an offender is fastened to boards and is exposed to public scorn. Pincers, an instrument having two lever handles and two jaws working on a pivot. Pinchers, an instrument having two jaws working on a pivot. Pinnacle, a high or topmost point as a mountain peak. Pioneer, one among the first to explore a country. Pious, religious. Peak, to excite a slight degree of anger in. Piteous, compassionate. Pitiable, contemptible. Pitiful, wretched. Pitiless, hard-hearted. Pittance, any small portion or meager allowance. Placate, to bring from a state of angry or hostile feeling to one of patience or friendliness. Placid, serene. Plagiarism, the stealing of passages from the writings of another and publishing them as one's own. Planisphere, a polar projection of the heavens on a chart. Plasticity, the property of some substances through which the form of the mass can readily be changed. Platitude, a written or spoken statement that is flat, dull, or commonplace. Plaudit, an expression of applause. Plausible, seeming likely to be true, though open to doubt. Playful, frolicsome. Playwright, a maker of plays for the stage. Plea, an argument to obtain some desired action. Pleasant, agreeable. Pleasurable, affording gratification. Plebeian, common. Pledgy, the person to whom anything is pledged. Pledger, one who gives a pledge. Plenary, entire. Plenipotentiary, a person fully empowered to transact any business. Plenitude, abundance. Plenteous, abundant. Plum, a weight suspended by a line to test the verticality of something. Plummet, a piece of lead for making soundings, adjusting walls to the vertical. Pluperfect, expressing past time or action prior to some other past time or action. Plural, containing or consisting of more than one. Plurality, a majority. Plutocracy, a wealthy class and a political community who control the government by means of their money. Pneumatic, pertaining to or consisting of air or gas. Poesy, poetry. Poetaster, an inferior poet. Poetic, pertaining to poetry. Poetics, the rules and principles of poetry. Poignancy, severity or acuteness, especially of pain or grief. Poignant, severely painful or acute to the spirit. Poise, equilibrium. Polar, pertaining to the poles of a sphere, especially of the earth. Polemics, the art of controversy or disputation. Pollen, the fine dust-like grains or powder formed within the anther of a flowering plant. Pollute, to contaminate. Polyarchy, government by several or many persons of whatever class. Polycracy, the rule of many. Polygamy, the fact or condition of having more than one wife or husband at once. Polyglot, speaking several tongues. Polygon, a figure having many angles. Polyhedron, a solid bounded by plain faces, especially by more than four. Polysyllable, having several syllables, especially more than three syllables. Polytechnic, pertaining to embracing or practicing many arts. 
Polytheism, the doctrine or belief that there are more gods than one. Pummel, to beat with something thick or bulky. Pomposity, the quality of being marked by an assumed stateliness and impressiveness of manner. Pompous, marked by an assumed stateliness and impressiveness of manner. Ponder, to meditate or reflect upon. Ponderous, unusually weighty or forcible. Pontiff, the Pope. Populous, the common people. Populous, containing many inhabitants, especially in proportion to the territory. Portend, to indicate as being about to happen, especially by previous signs. Portent, anything that indicates what is to happen. Portfolio, a portable case for holding writing materials, drawings, etc. Posit, to present in an orderly manner. Position, the manner in which a thing is placed. Positive, free from doubt or hesitation. Posse, a force of men. Possess, to own. Possession, the having, holding, or detention of property in one's power or command. Possessive, pertaining to the having, holding, or detention of property in one's power or command. Possessor, one who owns, enjoys, or controls anything, as property. Possible, being not beyond the reach of power, natural, moral, or supernatural. Post-date, to make the date of any writing later than the real date. Posterior, the hinder part. Postgraduate, pertaining to studies that are pursued after receiving a degree. Postscript, something added to a letter after the writer's signature. Potency, power. Potent, physically powerful. Potentate, one possessed of great power or sway. Potential, anything that may be possible. Potion, a dose of liquid medicine. Powerless, impotent. Practicable, feasible. Prate, to talk about vainly or foolishly. Prattle, to utter in simple or childish talk. Preamble, a statement introductory to and explanatory of what follows. Precarious, perilous. Precaution, a provision made in advance for some possible emergency or danger. Precede, to happen first. Precedence, priority in place, time, or rank. Precedent, an instance that may serve as a guide or basis for a rule. Precedential, of the nature of an instance that may serve as a guide or basis for a rule. Procession, the act of going forward. Precipice, a high and very steep or approximately vertical cliff. Precipitant, moving onward quickly and heedlessly. Precipitate, to force forward prematurely. Precise, exact. Precision, accuracy of limitation, definition, or adjustment. Preclude, to prevent. Precocious, having the mental faculties prematurely developed. Precursor, a forerunner or herald. Predatory, prone to pillaging. Predecessor, an incumbent of a given office previous to another. Predicament, a difficult, trying situation or plight. Predicate, to state as belonging to something. Predict, to foretell. Prediction, a prophecy. Predominance, ascendancy or preponderance. Predominant, superior in power, influence, effectiveness, number or degree. Predominate, to be chief in importance, quantity or degree. Preeminence, special eminence. Preempt, to secure the right of preference in the purchase of public land. 
Preemption The right or act of purchasing before others. Pre-engage To preoccupy. Pre-establish To settle or arrange beforehand. Pre-exist To exist at a period or in a state earlier than something else. Pre-existence Existence antecedent to something. Preface A brief explanation or address to the reader at the beginning of a book. Prefatory Pertaining to a brief explanation to the reader at the beginning of a book. Prefer To hold in higher estimation. Preferable More desirable than others. Ministry A service. Minority The smaller in number of two portions into which a number or a group is divided. Minute Exceedingly small in extent or quantity. Minutia A small or unimportant particular or detail. Mirage An optical effect looking like a sheet of water in the desert. Misadventure An unlikely accident. Misanthropic Hating mankind. Misanthropy Hatred of mankind. Misapprehend To misunderstand. Misbehave To behave ill. Misbehavior Ill or improper behavior. Mischievous Fond of tricks. Miscount To make a mistake in counting. Miscreant A villain. Misdeed A wrong or improper act. Misdemeanor Evil conduct, small crime. Miser A person given to saving and hoarding unduly. Mishap Misfortune Misinterpret To misunderstand. Mislay To misplace. Mismanage to manage badly, improperly, or unskillfully. Misnomer A name wrongly or mistakenly applied. Misogamy Hatred of marriage. Misogyny Hatred of women. Misplace To put into a wrong place. Misrepresent To give a wrong impression. Misrule To misgovern. Missal, the book containing the service for the celebration of Mass. Missal, any object, especially a weapon, thrown or intended to be thrown. Missive, a message in writing. Mistrust, to regard with suspicion or jealousy. Misty, lacking clearness. Misunderstand, to take in a wrong sense. Misuse, to maltreat. Might, a very small amount, portion, or particle. Mitre, the junction of two bodies at an equally divided angle. Mitigate, to make milder or more endurable. Mnemonics, a system of principles and formulas designed to assist the recollection in certain instances. Moat, a ditch on the outside of a fortress wall. Mobocracy, Lawless control of public affairs by the mob or populace. Moccasin, a foot covering made of soft leather or buckskin. Mockery, ridicule. Moderation, temperance. Moderator, the presiding officer of a meeting. Modernity, the state or character of being modern. Modernize to make characteristic of the present or of recent times. Modification A change. Modify To make somewhat different. Modish Fashionable Modulate To vary in tone, inflection, pitch, or other quality of sound. Mollify To soothe. Molt To cast off as hair, feathers, etc. Momentary lasting but a short time. Momentous, very significant. Momentum, an impetus. Monarchy, governed by a single sovereign ruler. Monastery, 
a dwelling place occupied in common by persons under religious vows of seclusion. Monetary. Financial. Mongrel. The progeny resulting from the crossing of different breeds or varieties. Monition. Friendly counsel given by way of warning and implying caution or reproof. Monitory. Admonition or warning. Monocracy. Government by a single person. Monogamy. The habit of pairing or having but one mate. Monogram. A character consisting of two or more letters interwoven into one, usually initials of a name. Monograph. A treatise discussing a single object or branch of a subject. Monolith. Any structure or sculpture in stone formed of a single piece. Monologue. A story or drama told or performed by one person. Monomania. The unreasonable pursuit of one idea. Monopoly. The control of a thing as a commodity to enable a person to raise its price. Monosyllable. A word of one syllable. Monotone. The sameness or monotony of utterance. Monotonous. Unchanging and tedious. Monotony. A lack of variety. Monsieur. A French title of respect equivalent to Mr. and Sir. Monstrosity. Anything unnaturally huge or distorted. Moonbeam. A ray of moonlight. Morale. A state of mind with reference to confidence, courage, zeal, and the like. Moralist. A writer on ethics.